Hi friends, welcome back to Samuel's Kitchen. So I'm sharing my chicken fried rice recipe with you all today. Um, I originally filmed this for Instagram Reels, so that's the reason why it's not in a proper orientation, so sorry about that. Um, so really quick recipe, let's get right into it. So I seasoned my chicken overnight with pork spices, uh, extra spicy seasoning, and then I added just a bit of soy sauce um, to the chicken um, in order for it to cook. Now I added way too much soy sauce, so when you're making it, make sure you don't add a lot of soy sauce and you can definitely omit it as well um, when you are cooking the soy sauce. I just added it for extra, you know, just because I can be extra sometimes, but it's not really necessary. So feel free to completely omit and just season your chicken, you know, per usual. Uh, so after my chicken was cooked, I just added in some diced onion um, into the pan. I always start my fried rice with onion um, just because it's very fragrant when you're frying it um, in the oil. And it's just a really good base for the fried rice altogether. So once that's done, um, I just added in my bell peppers and my carrots. I usually just use red bell peppers, but I ran out um, when I was making this specific dish. So I just used a uh, red bell pepper. Sorry, I used yellow bell pepper and green bell pepper. Then I added in my uh, grated carrots. So my seasoning, I just did uh, paprika white pepper and black pepper um, and that's literally all that I use um, for the seasoning it's really important that when you're making fried rice that you try to season the dish at every stage that is what's going to make your fried rice you know really really flavorful so even for my eggs I always season my eggs you know with um, black pepper white pepper um, a bit of um, paprika as well if I would like and salt as well so I just added in the egg I allowed it to set a little while and now I am just adding in my grated ginger and garlic um, feel free to omit you know the garlic or the ginger if you don't really like it but I have found that when I add in the fresh ginger and the fresh garlic it really gives my fried rice you know like a really unique taste and I really really love it in my fried rice so definitely try that um, and let me know if you like it for your fried rice as well so I'm just adding in a bit more oil here um, that way that you know the um, the veggies and the eggs you know it's not too dry so just add in a bit of oil or you can definitely add in butter as well and now I'm just adding in my rice so for my rice um, I usually cook my rice with rosemary oil and butter salt um, some bay leaves and and I think that's it so if I have um, like you know goat meat stock or some sort of chicken stock I'll definitely add it as well to my rice um, but that's how I usually cook my rice so I'm seasoning the rice now with fish sauce and oyster sauce I highly highly recommend oyster sauce now I know a lot of people are not a fan of fish sauce which is you know understandable it has like a really funny smell to it but at the very least i would highly recommend that you add oyster sauce and then i just added in um a little bit of soy sauce as well to the fried rice you know to give it the typical fried rice color another thing that i forgot to mention so for my fried rice i usually um cook the rice with curry powder as well um that is what gives it you know that yellowish color that you were seeing um for me you know that's just how i've always made my fried rice and i really like curry powder in my fried rice so if you don't want you know that yellowish color you can certainly omit the curry powder if you would like um but again this is just a personal preference um i've always just made my fried rice with curry powder so like I said, this recipe is really, really easy. Um, I wanted to just put it together quickly for Instagram Reels, but I know some people, you know, prefer just like a longer version. So that's the reason why I'm uploading it on YouTube, even though it's the wrong orientation. So after I mixed everything together, I added my cooked chicken, and that's literally it, guys. The recipe, like <laughs> this chicken fried rice is so delicious, and it pairs really, really well, obviously, with shito. Um, and some Ghana salad as well or you can eat it on its own if you try this recipe please let me know I would love to hear your feedback um, and as always feel free to DM me on Instagram or email me if you have any questions bye guys <laughs>